So I wanted to post a follow-up video just to kind of go through some of the installation conversation and kind of the how-to of uh, how this radio works after installation because I got some questions. Um, so first, in terms of installation, um, I'm going to call this pretty plug-and-play. Um, the unit itself came with everything you would need in terms of um, all the screws, the uh, the housing here that replaces the, uh, the little uh, storage compartment on the dashboard. Um, that all came in the kit. Um, it came with all of the uh, necessary wiring harnesses to truly make it plug and play. Um, you literally just like unlatch the wiring harness that, co that goes into the back of the, the stock unit head unit, um, go into this essentially like gigantic Y adapting um, harness kit that they include, um, and then it goes into the back of the, uh, the unit that you see here. Um, it even came with the, the little GPS antenna. You probably can't see that, but eh, there you go. Um, it's out on the forward of my dash there just because I haven't buried it anywhere. Um, so it really came with everything you would need to, uh, to make this thing useful right away. Um, it does come with like a stock navigation system. Um, Google Maps here is built in as well. Uh, you'll see it takes just a second here to bring up the maps, but then it'll identify where we are. It says loading maps on the screen. Um, what I've found is that using the uh, the Android Auto or the uh, Apple CarPlay is a little bit more, um, actually it's looking for a map update there on the internet. So I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing uh, because that one didn't work um, as, as fluidly here. Um, so first, you know, in terms of radio, like you just go into the radio. And I do have it operating with the, uh, the steering wheel uh, volume controls and whatnot over here. So I can, you know, click this to change stations over there. Um, and that all, that all works just fine. Um, I did have to select a different car than mine in terms of the CAN bus operation when you're setting it up initially. Um, that was a little bit confusing, but um, essentially when mine didn't work, I just started trying other vehicles and uh, that, that got it to work just fine. Um, you can load other apps. It does come with a handful of apps uh, by default in it, um, but you can also connect to a Wi-Fi um, router and uh, add additional apps if you'd like. Um, what I'll say is the connection was a little bit slow, even when I knew I had a good, strong uh, internet connection and other devices would uh, transfer really quickly. Um, the process for downloading anything was uh, longer than I would have expected, but it's certainly doable and it's not something I would tend to do a lot, so certainly certainly bearable. Um, so going back to the home screen, um, so you can connect through Bluetooth to uh, your phone, so like this is connected right now to, um, to the, to the uh, iPhone that's sitting here in the car, um, and so I can hit music and get into the different um, the different music options that are on the phone or I can get into the ones that are um, sitting you know in the um, in the head unit so you can you can do it either way um, and then the other thing I want to show you is in terms of carplay because uh, the two things that I bought this primarily for um, are the reversing camera ability so let me just put the car in reverse so you can kind of see what that does. Um, so just very quickly, it, it comes into play. Um, it doesn't do, you know, like how some new cars, if you turn the steering wheel, the lines will turn with it. It doesn't do that, but, um, and it doesn't do like uh, distance sensoring and things like that. Um, but it does do the camera, which is, you know, exactly what we were looking for out of it. Uh, and then the other thing is to operate both Bluetooth and um, when we wanted to, to wire it up and do the Apple CarPlay. So what I'll do is show you, so like you download this auto kit and um, Sikane gives you the link and shows you how to get that APK in order to get that installed. Um, so once you launch that, you click this button and I'm gonna pause the video for just a second and plug in the iPhone once it, what happens is you, you push this and then it tells you to plug in the iPhone. Um, and I don't know what's gonna happen if I push that and then put the phone down to go plug it in. Uh, so I just wanna make sure it happens smoothly. So I'll be right back with you once that's plugged in. Okay, so I plugged in the phone and you can see the phone right here says CarPlay on it. And now you can see up here, it's you know showing the music that's loaded on the phone so I can hit that to play it if I want to. And um, so that'll, that'll play anything through the car that, uh, that you've got on the phone, whether it's, um, I don't know what's going on there. It's not 
it's pa pausing me. There we go. Um, so it'll play any of the media that's on your phone. Um, you've got lots of different apps that you can do. Um, and my favorite, of course, is just like here's ways. Um, so you know you can use ways to um, operate just as you would on your phone. But here it is on the big screen. You don't have to look down at your phone. I know you know obviously if it's sitting in a cradle, it's it's accessible. But uh, in my opinion, having that big screen there and being able to communicate directly with the phone is uh, is huge, especially for the, the teenage driver that's uh, using this car. So um, just wanted to kind of walk through that and show you the, the big key killer apps that I'm focusing on this one for. Uh, and feel free to post any questions you have and I'll do my best to follow up. But uh, yeah, I've been really happy with it. It's it certainly met all the needs that we had. Um, I guess, you know, I did not include a video of it actually physically installing this in the car and I didn't do that because there are lots of other videos showing you how to do that um, but just to kind of give a, a real quick overview um, you can probably find it in two seconds on YouTube but the part where these vents are you literally just pull that out and then detach the little wire that's attached to it um, the hazard buttons here um, they disconnect uh, and then you've got a couple of screws one on each side that hold this in a couple of screws that are holding the the radio in um, and from there, everything just literally pops out. So it was super easy. Um, I'd say this entire head unit installation took under an hour. Um, the biggest challenge was um, wiring the reverse camera um, and then getting the wire, um, the wiring to kind of like sit snugly behind everything because uh, it does get a little bit crowded back there. But if that's the biggest problem, then that's a great problem. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty happy with this. So anyway, good luck to you and I uh, hope this has help, been helpful.